investigating the problem, getting results. This is Wave 3 News at 5. Well, ahead at 5.30, a health alert story you will only see here on Wave 3 News. A young Louisville boy with sickle cell anemia is living disease-free tonight. Thanks to research at the University of Louisville, we'll show you how one doctor's discovery is paving the way for countless more children to live normal, healthy lives. Well, they're off immunosuppression and they are asymptomatic. They haven't had to come in for transfusion therapy since their transplants. And actually, it's hard to get them back in to have their blood drawn because they feel so good. She does everything other kids can do without being so sick and, you know, tired. And... Yeah. Ahead at 5.30, medical reporter Lori Lyle explains how this is possible and why this research may treat and cure far beyond this one disease. And again, it's putting Louisville on. Good evening, I'm Dawn G. And I'm Janelle McDonald in for Scott Reynolds tonight. We begin with a Wave 3 exclusive, a potential therapy that could cure the world of sickle cell anemia. About 4% of babies are born with a red blood cell disorder like sickle cell anemia. And in Kentucky, 90% of sickle cell patients live in Louisville, where this breakthrough research and treatment is underway. Medical reporter Lori Lyle is here with this amazing news. Thanks, Don. You know, in the U.S., only half of sickle cell patients survive past the age of 40. A bone marrow transplant can functionally cure the disease, meaning you still carry the gene, but few people find a match and there's up to a 20% risk of dying because of that transplant. Well, research at UofL is changing that and already changing lives. I'm so pro. In the safety of his home, 10-year-old Amos is pro at many sports, tennis, hockey, fishing, but for years, unable to test those skills for real. I feel like droopy and all weird and kind of dizzy all the time and I want to go outside but they won't let me go outside. His friends at his age now belong to Boy Scout, they go to camping. We can't even let him go to somebody's house. Amos has sickle cell anemia. His red blood cells are shaped kind of like bananas instead of tennis balls, limiting blood supply and damaging organs. There's no cure for it, that's what we were told. And at three years old... We almost lost him and he was in critical care for almost a week. And every five weeks after lengthy blood exchange transfusions to help stabilize the condition to buy some time. We know somebody that just lost their kid. And he's just 28 years, had a stroke. Amos's so. older sister, Abby, understands the danger. Sometimes worried that he's really sick. I wake up, I go touch him and make sure he's still alive, you know. But that fear is now two years behind them. And he's actually over two years out. So Data reporting a remarkable clean. change. Amos's body and now making normal, normal yeah. red blood cells with a breakthrough procedure from Dr. Suzanne Ilstad's labs at the University of Louisville. It's been known now for about 10 years that bone marrow transplant is the only curative therapy. But with a traditional transplant, only one in five candidates find the needed perfect match. And when they do, it requires wiping out a patient's immune system, a risk of dying as high as 20 percent. We have developed a way um, to make bone marrow transplants safe enough to take that risk from 10 to 20 percent chance of dying to less than 0.5 percent chance. In 1996, Ilstad discovered a cell in bone marrow called a facilitating cell that helps bone marrow transplants take without as much matching without killing out all the existing marrow. This conditioning is safe enough you can do it as an outpatient. Because Amos is one of the first to undergo the new transplant protocol, he required some hospital stay, but since... He hasn't been hospitalized for anything. They're off immunosuppression and they are asymptomatic. They haven't had to come in for transfusion therapy. Amos is one of two patients now two years post-transplant. They're behaving as if they don't have sickle cell disease. And even though their donor cells are only ranging between 20 to 30 percent, they are making only normal red cells. So this picture means that all of the red cells being produced are from the donor. Amos's donor is little sis Chi Chi. And I'm happy he's feeling well. And I hope God um, keeps him like this. Healthy and as big brothers go, completely normal. Kind of um, 
annoying. Sometimes he doesn't let me play the Wii. That too will soon change as Amos puts down game controls now that he's in control. I can play soccer, I can run faster. I don't, I can breathe easier. Mom and dad too, breathing easier, believing the impossible prayer is answered. I think he's cured by the grace of God. By the grace of God, I do. Disease-free, two years. He knew he's winning. And for sure, counting. Now, the two children living disease-free had perfect match donors, but the FDA has approved a three of six bone marrow match, which could be a mom or a dad donating to the child. And this research goes far beyond sickle cell. Dr. Elstad is using it with heart and kidney transplants. She's ready to treat the first MS patient and other autoimmune diseases to follow. The list is so long for the potential with this therapy. I couldn't even list them all, but it is very exciting news. Yeah, absolutely. Another miracle at UofL. Absolutely a miracle, yeah. you know. All right. We don't use that word loosely there. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Lori.